All right. Well, there it is. That's the Winterwell Woodlander Double View Large Camp Stove. I had to open the, uh, I had to open stuff up in here, man. It was, it was cooking me out. I might have to open it some more, actually. Now, I've got the, uh, the door closed, the dampener, and, uh, and I've closed off the dampener on the, the flue dampener a little bit, but, yeah, whoo, puts out some heat. It's about 45 degrees outside, uh, it's cloudy, and, uh, it's, it's, it's 80 degrees in here. It is too hot. Um, so, the, uh, that's the fire mat from, uh, um, where is that fire mat from? That fire mat is from uh, Competitive Edge. Uh, outdoor products and uh, competitive edge is also who I uh, bought the tent from let's measure the stove here a little bit if I can get close to it Whew. Uh, that's uh, 18 by oh, golly. the box is the, the the top uh, measures 18 by 10, and uh, we are at 18 inches off the ground. How much space do I have from my wall? Pretty much two feet. Now, you might remember me mentioning, if you saw my other video, that uh, it's uh, according to Winterwell, they want 48 inches. I would say that must have been written by lawyers. <laughs> that's not even possible. Uh, now that stove is really hot right now. And I put my hands on the fabric. It was just warm, like like something you took out of the dryer uh, two minutes ago, kind of warm. So I, I don't, I'm not worried about the fabric, but I the, the stove is closed. I mean, if it was fully open, I don't know, man. That's a lot of heat. Uh. I could see that being a problem, maybe. Let's just watch it burn. really like the legs on the stove they have a very they're very sturdy and they have a very positive lock to them when they swing out or swing closed there's no play in them uh, I, I like I like them a lot the uh, the legs have holes in them already so you could drive stakes through them and secure your stove to the ground uh, 
I like that idea however my tent has a floor in it I don't want to poke holes in my floor Other than that, I don't really have anything else to say about the stove. I've already done an unboxing video on the stove. Uh, I've done a video showing how various pans will fit on the stove and their sizes. I burned it for eight hours with the dampeners closed. Uh, just to see how long it would burn fully loaded. I got eight hours. Um... So really all you're seeing right now is just what the stove uh, looks like in the tent. Now I do think it's a good idea to uh, have a uh, carbon monoxide detector and uh, so I bought one, it was on Amazon, that's it, it just detects carbon monoxide, it is not a smoke alarm. Now I am aware that they sell a combination of carbon monoxide detector and smoke alarm. Uh, I guess that's better than no smoke alarm, right? But I'm gonna buy a smoke alarm and uh, and because I have a seven year old son so I'm gonna buy a uh, smoke alarm and hang it up higher in the tent your carbon monoxide detector should be at head level so like if I'm sleeping and I'm laying down obviously I don't sleep standing so when I'm laying down sleeping uh, I want this thing I'll have it sitting on a table or something a chair next to me um, because carbon monoxide it's not it's not lighter than air and it's not heavier than air it just uh, it just mixes with the air but smoke you know it's gonna rise so so we'll just have two of them Oh, uh, well, while we're at it, here in the tent, we might as well take a minute to talk about, uh, the hammocks. This, now, it comes with this bag, before I put it. I just kind of had this hanging up here, but, uh, so these ham, uh, I said hammocks, I meant cots, I'm sorry. So here's a cot from REI. These cots uh, have a sort of, but well, not sort of, has a bungee cord wrapped all around it. So the cot padding itself is suspended on this bungee cord. It's real nice, durable fabric. It's thick, and uh, it's got a nice cushion to it. I I really like this cot. Uh, the legs here are adjustable and this folds up you turn these knobs here and it uh, unlocks it so you can lay it back so it's an adjustable cot that can be a uh, bed or a or a chair and then these blankets that I have I have several of these are from Kodiak Canvas, which is who makes the tent. So they're flannel on the inside and cotton canvas on the outside. They're wet, water resistant, weather resistant. And uh, that's a king size one, doubled over. Uh, they're very warm, they're, they're, uh, they're pretty heavy. I mean, it's, it's like a thick flannel sleeping bag. There's another one. Step outside and have a look. I 
There's my little flashing hat. Now they make this flashing in a larger diameter. Uh, I might order another one that's uh, larger around. Just acts as a hat or an umbrella just to keep stuff from falling through the hole. Yep. All right. All right, well, that's going to conclude this video. I just want to do a little talk about the stove and let you see it inside the tent. Uh, talk about the carbon monoxide detector and you know, it's initial setup here, uh, here in my backyard. First time I've ever set the tent up. First time this stove's ever been in the tent, although I've burned this stove a few times. I never burned it in this tent. And it is hot. Whew. All right, until next time, adios.